So today, let's talk about histogram in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So histograms are the representation on, so it's a representation of empirical data. So on Earth Engine, you can plot histogram using a Java API script. So you can display it on interactively. So for that, let us uh, import our satellite image into Google Earth Engine. So load a Landsat 8 top of the atmosphere as an input imagery into Google Earth Engine to make a histogram. For that, I defined a variable called Landsat collection equals to double e dot image collection, referring to Landsat Landsat 8 collection collection one layer one top of the atmosphere dot select. So we are selecting only the band. 1 to 5 in Landsat 8 image. Now let me show you the band 1 to 5 of Landsat 8 image. So this is a Landsat 8 band. So we are using band 1, band 2, band 3, band 4 and band 5. Coastal aerosol, blue, green, red and near and far. These are wavelengths of that band and resolutions of 30 meter for all bands. So next we are filtering it, uh, filtering it using uh, with path and row. So for that, I define dot filter, double e dot filter, dot eq, wrs dot uh, path. Specifically, I'm selecting path 170, and uh, similarly, we are selecting row 52. Now let me show you what is path and row. So now let me show you the path and row of the flight image. So you can able to see we have uh, selected uh, specifically. Lat long of uh, South Dakota, Dakota. So each every uh, satellite image has its own specific path and row value for that specific location. So uh, for this specific location, the paths are the path number is 30, 0, 3, 0, and row number is 0, 2, 9. So every uh, location has its own uh, uh, its own unique path and row. So uh, so in Earth and so. In, for filtering, we have uh, selected specifically 170 and 52. That specific we have uh, taken that specific satellite image. So to output our details of the satellite image, we have defined print collection and referring to Landsat collections. That is this way we are referring to this uh, this variable Landsat collection variable called Landsat collection. So next is a sort by a cloud. Uh, cloud cover property to get the least cloudy image to get the least cloudy image we have to uh, define a variable called image equals to double e dot image and referring to our landsat collection that is defined here and dot sort cloud cover so we are referring to uh, the cloud cover metadata that is in our satellite the image property has uh, this particular cloud cover called this metadata called as cloud cover so we are dot first referring to that. Generally, satellite images are sorted in uh, in ascending order. So select the first one, which is a which is the most uh, least contaminated uh, least contaminated by clouds. So uh, we're selecting the first image. So uh, we will get a least contaminated uh, satellite image. So to print this, uh, we define print least cloudy uh, least uh, cloudy image and image. This image referred to this variable called image and next is uh, we are using to define the visualization parameter for the satellite image we are using variable called visualization true curly bracket bands you are specifically you are taking band 4 band 3 and band 2 the minimum of 0 and maximum reflectance is around 0 0.5 the gamma value is around 0 0.95 1.1 and 1 and next is uh, to center the map and display the image and uh, define the region of interest as a buffer around a point. So in previous uh, video, like your time in time series chart, we define the similar function. So in this video, we are specifically focusing on to create a histogram out of the satellite image. So center the map and display the image. So and define a region of interest as a buffer around a point. So we are making a point and creating a buffer of 500 meter and making it as a region of interest to collect the to collect the or to extract the information in that particular buffer region 
So for that, I've defined a variable uh, sample point equals to double e dot geometry points. So we are using a specific geometry point. That is, we are defining a point. So we are defining a point with the coordinates. That is, uh, we are defining a point with the coordinates. These are the coordinates. Dot buffer, preferring 500 meters of buffer around that point. And uh, map dot add layer to add our uh, so to add our landsat uh, that is cloud free cloud cloud free contaminated uh, that is cloud free image of landsat for defining map dot add layer image that is referring to our this one the cloud uh, to remove the least cloudy image to get the least cloudy image and uh, visualization true that is our defining a visualization parameter that is defined here and uh, la and output as landsat cloud free composite. And to add our, uh, that is our point data into the region of interest, map.add layer. So they're referring to this point data and about point data. So map.add layer, sample point, and this curly bracket that refers to the default visualization parameter. So it is, uh, that is, we are defining to its default parameter, default visualization parameter, and output as sample points and map dot center object to center the image that is our uh, image and with the res with the zoom level of 10 so next is our uh, to predefine some customization options for histogram so now uh, let me run this code go to the option called run run script so it's loading here So this is our Landsat 8 image. So we have two different layers. One is our sample point, uh, sample layer. And uh, second one is our, the Landsat cloud-free uh, layer. So this is our Landsat 8 uh, cloud-free layer. You know, but you can also be able to view that. The cloud contamination is uh, very less in this image. So I can able to visualize there is absolutely no cloud contamination this specific uh, satellite image so here we have our, our, uh, our sample point so we can able to view that this is our sample point within that uh, we have our buffer of 500 meter around our sample point so this particular buffer is defined to extract the information of this area using this buffer uh, using this buffer so this particular buffer circle is being used specifically to make our histogram, histogram in uh, Google Earth Engine. And this particular Landsat data, this particular uh, Landsat data that is uh, the histogram we are creating is from our Landsat 8 image. The data is from the Landsat 8 image. So now let us uh, predefine some customization options for histogram. So to uh, define some customization options for histogram, we defined a variable called option equals to open a curly bracket. The title we are given we are giving as the Ethiopia Landsat 8 histogram, and the font size is 20, and the horizontal axis is uh, the, our DN, and our vertical axis is the, our uh, DN count, and the series that is our bands for band uh, zero for the zero we are referring as a blue and one three and two is red and three is this particular color so next is to make a histogram and set the options so to make a histogram we define a variable called histogram equals to ui dot chart dot i that is a dot image dot histogram image of our image refers to our variable called image that is our least cloudy image and sample points so we defined a sample point here that is here we define a sample point with a buffer of 500 meters and uh, 30 refers to the spatial resolutions of the landsat 8 image so this particular algorithm that does the histogram for our uh, landsat uh, 8 image Next is we set series name that is our band 
that is a blue, green, red, and NIR. And set options, the options that refers to this one, the variable called options. So we set our title, font size, uh, horizontal, vertical axis, and the colors. So the last is we're going to display our histogram of Landsat 8 image. We are using our option call. So display this data, we are using mention, the print, and histogram. So this histogram refers to this variable histogram. So now uh, go to the option called uh, go to the option called run, run script. So now we can able to view in the right side. Uh, we have generated a histogram. Now this is our histogram that has been generated from our Landsat 8 image. The particular region of interest of that buffer of 500 meters. So we can able to view that we, are, we have defined a title and uh, for uh, DN count in the vertical axis and DN in horizontal axis and we define the color for each of the band so for blue we are defined blue green uh, it is green and nir it is pink so you can also able to view this uh, the options like band 5 with uh, so band 5 with uh, dn the bn b5 count is 25 and the dn value is around 0 0.23 and similarly for blue uh, blue band blue uh, that is is 31 in dn count and 0 0.09 in dn uh, in dn value so in this video i have shown you how to uh, create a histogram from uh, landsat 8 image in google earth engine and uh, i've shown you how to import landsat 8 image and how to get at least cloudy image and display of visualization to set up a visualization parameter and to create a point with uh, a buffer of 500 meters and some uh, customization options for our histograms and to uh, create our histo uh, to create our histo histogram so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like